welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had a wonderful day so far. Today I'm going to go through how to make your very own whipped body butter. Now the reason why I whip it, whip it good. is just because it makes it less oily when you apply it onto your skin. Because body butter is quite thick and greasy. So by whipping it up it just makes it a bit more light and fluffy. And when you apply it on it's not as oily as your normal body butter. So that is why I whip it. But the reason why I also started making my own body butter, because I was using lotion before and it was all fine and all dandy and everything. But I wanted to use body butter just because in winter time my skin tends to dry out a lot. It's probably common with a lot of you guys. I reckon it's common with most people. But I just found that my skin would dry out a lot during winter and I wanted something that would last a lot longer so my skin wasn't drying out so quickly after I'd already moisturized it. So I was like, alright, so I went searching on Google and I was like, alright, what, what can work for this? And I found that body butter does help with this. So that is why I started making my own body butter. And it has been a treat since. I love it so much. And it smells like chocolate, so when I'm putting it on, I'm like, oh, I could just sniff it up all day. I know, it's amazing. So that is my story of why I started making body butter. If you guys were interested, might not have been, but there you go, you know now. Alright, so let's whip this body butter together. Have you guys noted that little pun there? So what you'll need is half a cup of shea butter, half a cup of cocoa butter, half a cup of coconut oil, and half a cup of light oil. So things like almond, jojoba, or olive oil. I used olive oil in this video. An optional ingredient is 10 to 30 drops of essential oils of your choice. I use lavender for this. I just love the scent and it's like, oh, it smells amazing. So to start with, in a glass bowl over a pan of water, combine all the ingredients except the essential oils. Bring to medium heat and stir constantly until all the ingredients are melted. Remove from heat and let it cool slightly. Add the essential oils if you're using them. Then move it to the fridge and let it cool for another hour or so until it starts to harden around the edges but is still a bit soft in the middle. Use a hand mixer and whip for 10 minutes until it's fluffy. Then return it to the fridge for another 10 to 15 minutes to let it set. Sorry about the changing in lighting during the video. Uh, a storm came over when I was filming so that's why it looks really dark. Then all you need to do is store it in a glass jar with a lid and use as you would regular lotion or body butter. If your home stays above 24 degrees Celsius, which is 75 degrees Fahrenheit, it may soften and need to be kept in the fridge. But it will stay whipped at a temperature lower than that. Enjoy guys! And voila! 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 There you go. And voila! There you have it, your very own body butter. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. I'm using it all the time. It's like my new favourite thing. If you do like it, just share with me in the comments below how you're, in, how you're enjoying it, what your experience of it is, and if you have any other recipes of your own body butter that you use to, and that what you make, please share with me below. I love hearing new ideas and new recipes for things. It's like my favourite thing. So if you do have a new recipe to share with me, just comment below and I'll love to read it. If you like the video, just give it a thumbs up. And if you want to join our fam, just subscribe down below in the corner. I will welcome you with open arms. It will be wonderful to have you on board. Otherwise, have a wonderful day, guys. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.